Here, at the Department of Fire Safety Engineering, research is carried out on how fires develop <coughs> and how they spread. <coughs> Research areas at the department within fire safety engineering are focusing on human behavior, support for fire services, extinguishing systems, risk analysis, and fire development, which is my research area. With fire development, we mean how a fire spreads after ignition of the first item. Fire spread is important because it determines, for example, how much time one has to evacuate the room or how fast the room will be on flashover. That means when the complete room will be burned. How fast this will happen will determine the consequences of a fire on people and on property. Every year, almost 100 people die in Swedish residential fires. That means in their own home. The fire causes are often candlelights, cigarettes, cooking plates, electrical apparatuses and chimneys. The cost for fires in Sweden is approximately 6 billion crowns per year. An important factor for fire spread is how quick a fire will spread in a building and how building products influence this behavior. As building products, we mainly think about wall and flooring materials, cables and furniture. The first property one wants to know is how quickly the material will ignite if it is exposed to heat. After that, we want to know how quickly the fire will spread on the surface. That is the so-called flame spread. The flame spread depends on how the material is mounted, for example, vertically or horizontally. These two factors determine one of the most important parameters, and that is the heat release rate produced by material. Another important factor is the generated smoke its content and its opacity. The content is important because the smoke can be toxic. The opacity is important because it determines whether we can see evacuation signs. Finally, we want to know if a material produces burning droplets when it burns. All these parameters will influence the overall fire spread and development, which is then used in advanced computer models to design fire-safe buildings.